Hello, I'm continuing to look at the Edexcel GCSE Maths Foundation tier paper 2 from 2020. This is question 16 and it's a question about percentages and fractions. So we can see that we've got an exam with two papers, paper 1 and paper 2. And it says paper 1 has got 60 marks, paper 2 has got 90 marks. And the pass mark is two thirds of the total number of marks. So it says Danielle gets 70% of the marks on paper 1. How many of the marks on paper two must Danielle get in order to get the pass mark? So I think the first thing that I would do there is just work out what the total number of marks is available. So that's just saying 60 plus 90, and that's 150. So then we know that the pass mark is actually two thirds of this total. So then what I would do is just work out what is two thirds of 150 and two thirds of 150 is actually two thirds times 150 and to do that we can divide the 150 by 3 and then times the result by 2 so if I divide 150 by 3 I will get 50 and then if I times it by 2 I will get 100 so really what that's telling me is the pass mark is 100. So my next job is to work out what mark did she actually get if she, on paper one if she got 70% of the marks on paper one. So I need to find out what is 70% of the marks on paper one and paper one was 60 marks. So 70% of 60. And for this I'm just going to use the calculator. Simple reason for that is we're on the calculator paper so we don't really want to be taking any chances if we're doing this and we're in an exam we want to use the calculator so to do that 70% is actually 0 0.7 so we can just go 0 0.7 times 60 and if I do that on the calculator what I get is 42 so we get 0 0.7 times 60 is 42 so that's what marks she's scored already so then to work out what marks does she need to get the pass well she actually needs to get the difference between 100 and 42. So she needs 100 minus 42. And if I work that out, I could use a calculator, but if I work that out, that's 58. So she's actually got to score 58 marks on the second paper. And that's it, that's the question completed. So I hope that's been helpful to you. And if it has, please consider subscribing to the channel and also giving the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.